In this unit circle survival guide, we're going to find the exact value of secant of negative pi over 6, and we'll use the SARC method. And SARC's just an acronym to help us keep all our information organized so that we're sure our answer is accurate. So you can see it's spelled out um, in the template on the left. We have S to sketch the angle, A for ASTC and deciding our final sign, positive or negative, R for reference triangle and the corresponding coordinates, and C for calculate, calculating the trig ratio. So we're going to use this to find the secant of negative pi over 6. So let's first sketch our angle. The negative in front of the angle simply means that we are rotating in the clockwise direction. So we know a half rotation in the clockwise direction would be negative pi. And so if we're just doing 1 sixth pi or negative 1 sixth pi, we know we must have the terminal side in the fourth quadrant about right here. So that angle is um, negative pi over 6. Now, ASTC will help us decide if secant is positive or negative in the fourth quadrant. Think all students take classes. Okay, and you just work your way around, starting in the first quadrant, and this tells you which trig functions and their reciprocals are positive in each. So we won't spend too much time on the first three, all students, so that sine and cosecant are positive, take tangent and cotangent in the third quadrant are positive, classes. So cosine and secant are going to be positive in the fourth quadrant. And since we're trying to find secant, we are good. We can say our final answer is positive. You can put yourself a reminder there in your final answer spot. Um, and so now we know our answer is positive. We don't have to worry anything more about where this angle is. We'll simply look at the reference angle next, find the coordinates, and calculate. Okay, so in step three, we want to get the reference triangle so we can find the coordinates to work with. A reference angle is just the amount of rotation from terminal side to x-axis. And so we said we just rotated clockwise pi over 6. Or if we're thinking in terms of special right triangles and degrees, that's just 30 degrees. So here is our special right triangle with a 30 degree angle right here. We know that a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And so on the unit circle, we can find the coordinates for this point right here. So the long legs coordinate or value is square root of 3 over 2. And then the shorter leg, the vertical leg, its value is 1 half. And we just find that using special right triangle properties. Um, I will post a link to some in-depth descriptions of those right special right triangles and how to find those values. Um, but once you've worked with uh, the unit circle a little bit, these should become second nature. Um, all right, and now we can find our actual final answer calculating using our trig ratio knowledge. So the secant of an angle is going to just be the reciprocal of cosine. And we know on the unit circle, the cosine is simply the x coordinate. So the secant must just be one over x. All right, so we know the x coordinate is square root of three over two. So we have one over the square root of three over two. And so let's do a little scratch work here. Eventually you'll have practiced exact value so much that you'll just know what this simplifies to without having to do much work, um, if any. But we have one divided by root three over two. So that's the same thing as multiplying by two over square root three. Okay, so we don't really need that because one times anything is just itself. But we do need to rationalize this. And that just means multiplying by square root three over square root three so that the radical in the denominator goes away. So we have two root three over three. And in step two, we already had decided that this is a positive final value. Secant is positive in the fourth quadrant. So our answer for secant of negative pi over six is simply two root three over three. Be sure to check the video description for links to more worked examples of exact values. And thanks for watching.